Hi, I am Adrienne and in this video I would like to show you how you can make your own brushes in Clip Studio Paint that will look like Photoshop's hard and soft round brushes. These are the brushes that I am using as well when I am painting digitally and I found that it was the easiest to color to paint with these custom brushes than the default Clip Studio Paint brushes. So these will be the two brushes that I will show you how to create in this tutorial. What we will use to make these brushes are the default soft airbrush in Clip Studio Paint. To select the tool first go to the airbrush here and then choose the soft brush and the second from the top and to create a new version from this um, tool right click on on the line of the brush and choose duplicate sub tool give it a name i will name this ps hard brush you can change the icon if you would like to but i will leave it as it is as the airbrush icon and i just hit ok and now the new brush is at the bottom of the brush list to edit the settings of this this brush uh, go and um, here where the brush uh, settings are here is a icon two icons uh, the first one is the revert settings and the second one is the show sub to little palette and edit hidden parameters click this one and you will see that there are more settings you can choose from and um, you can choose from to edit your brush and make it behave like you would like to now what i will set here i will leave the brush size as it is it doesn't matter you can set this later to a size that fits you now on the second tab um, here's the ink tab i will uh, leave it as it is uh, for right now but i will come back because my brush for my brushes i use the mixed ground color but first i would like to show you how this brush will work without this now the third tab anti-aliasing anti here i choose the setting weak so it will have a more stronger more defined edge I had brush shape I will not um, change anything however at the brush tip uh, you uh, there are two things I would like to show you first of all you can set the hardness of the brush here and for every settings here is a tiny box at the start of the row and if you click it uh, an eye icon will appear and what this does is that it will tell clip studio paint that you would like to set this uh, setting to be shown here at the quick uh, brush settings so you can reach some brush settings more faster and more quicker if you enable them to be editable here in the quick uh, brush settings 
and not just here in the hidden parameter settings. So this is what the I icon does. I like to leave the hardness to be visible, the settings to be visible. Now, the second thing I like to adjust here is the edges brush density by gap. And I will show you what this does. This is now turned on. And this is what my brush looks like at the moment, my brush strokes. And if I remove this option, you will see that we will get a more stronger result. So if you would like to create a hard brush, I, I suggest that you remove this selection from this Adjust Brush Density by Gap option, so let it be unchecked. That's when you will have a hard brush and if you click on it, you will have a soft brush. So that's the difference. I want a hard brush, so I have removed it. Now, the spraying effect can remain as it is. However, at the stroke um, menu point, I suggest that you set this from normal to narrow. I will show you what this does. If you see closely, when I make my lines, you can see tiny circles here. If you see these circles and you don't want them, you want to get rid of them, then set this gap to narrow and it will be gone. Okay, so that's how you remove these circle marks by setting the stroke gap to narrow. At the texture many point you can add the texture to your brush. I will skip that. Border of watercolor iris are not needed at the moment. Correction you can play with the stabilization if you want to, but that's more needed when you are inking and using the pen tool. Starting and ending is fine as it is. And the anti-overflow as well. Now I said that I will show you the ink settings later and it's time to go back. So right now this is how the brush works. I will add the second color so you can see that this completely hides the painting, the color below it. Now what I will set here is, this is a very cool function from Clip Studio Paint with this mixed ground color option, you can enable the brush to mix the colors, to mix your new um, color with the color that's already painted on your canvas. So, for example, if I am painting with the blue, you can already see that it is um, not as dark as it was because before, because it already gets the white from the canvas and mixes with it. Now if I change colors you will see that it mixes with the blue and with the white as well. 
this is um, really great if you would like to have a more painterly look you can play with this you can set how much paint to use how much you would like the paint from the canvas to affect your paint you can all you can set all of these with the amount of paint the density of paint and the color stretch options here and I also suggest that you enable these to be quickly set from your brush settings quick brush settings here so you can set this while you paint and this is how you can make a hard brush or a soft brush uh, similar to photoshop's round hard brush and soft brush so again if you would like to create a soft brush just go to brush tips and adjust brush density by gap you can also turn this on if you would like to and then you can quickly change between the two if you want to um, as myself I have created two different brushes for this so I have a hard brush and I have a soft brush because I like to keep my soft brush with different settings as my hard brush I like to uh, keep uh, the hardness quite um, low for example and I have different settings for the color stretch density of paint as well okay I hope that this video was helpful to you and then you can now create your own hard brush that's similar to photoshop photoshop brushes but it can still use the super cool feature of clip studio paint and that is mixing colors i really like this function <laughs> so if you like this video please like it and if you would like to see more videos like this one please subscribe and also let me know in the comments if you have any questions about clip studio paint painting in clip studio paint if i know the answer i will try to answer it And yeah, yeah, enjoy painting and see you in the next video. Bye bye.